In this problem, we're accelerating a disk by wrapping a string around the hub and pulling on it with a known force. So we maintain the tension at 50 newtons the entire time. We have specs on the disk. It has a mass of three kilograms and a radius of 25 centimeters. And that will allow us to calculate its moment of inertia. And my first question is get the angular acceleration. So the idea here is that I'm using the rotational version of Newton's second law torque equals I alpha, and what I'm solving for is alpha. That's going to be the torque divided by the moment of inertia. So I've got two things I have to calculate. I need to get the torque exerted by this string. So I'm going to go down to the bottom picture and illustrate that when I have a string wrapped around a hub, it's always automatically perpendicular to the lever arm. So my lever arm goes from the center of rotation to the point of contact where the force is actually applied. And because that string is coming off tangentially, so I'm going to write in 50 newtons here. Because that string is coming off tangentially, it's automatically perpendicular to the lever arm, which is a radius of that circle. My torque is going to be 50 newtons of force. That's already the perpendicular force multiplied by the size of the lever arm or the radius of the hub. So I was given the diameter of the hub and I need to fix that by dividing by two. Three centimeters is the radius, or 0.03 meters. When I do the math, I get 1.5 Newton meters of torque. Second, I need to find the moment of inertia of this disk, and that's a formula you just look up. Every physics book has a whole page of these things. If you're curious, they come from using physical integration, so it's a really nice calculus application. All right, when I crunch the numbers on the moment of inertia, I come out with 0.09 three eight kilogram meters squared so finally I can get the angular acceleration that's torque over moment of inertia so 1.5 Newton meters divided by 0 0.0938 kilogram meters squared and I get an acceleration of 16.0 radians per second squared the second question combines the original dynamics problem with an angular kinematics problem. So I want the final angular speed for this disk. Okay, I know it started from rest. I'm interested in the final angular speed. I know the angular acceleration. I know the time for the process, so I'm told this happens for 2.044 seconds. And now I should be able to solve for the final angular speed. It's my second angular kinematics equation. Omega equals omega naught plus alpha t. My original omega was zero. And I've already solved for the final speed that I'm looking for. So just plug in here. I get 16.0 radians, oops, radians per second squared. Multiplied by 2.044. 044 seconds. I can see one factor of seconds cancels and I get radians per second. So that's good. And it comes out to 32.7. Now, incidentally, this same problem was solved using work and energy in a previous video. So I'll post a link to that before this one is over. In the work energy approach, we were given the distance the 50 Newton force pulled for. That allowed us to compute the work. We set that equal to the kinetic energy of the disk and we were able to solve for the final angular velocity.